Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Just getting ourselves set up. Usual chaos has been going on. Our dinner's ready, but we haven't had time to eat it. No. So we're going to do that after. Well, I decided to cook a, a stew, and it takes forever to chop all the vegetables. So it takes like an hour to cook. And it's, I love doing a stew, but it's just so time consuming. And then I thought, I'm never going to be able to eat it in time. So, so yeah. Yeah, oh, I barely cooked it in time before. <laughs> That's why we were a bit late. <laughs> so, hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, all you regulars. I can see a bunch of you in the chat. Um, welcome. If you are new, we're still getting loads of new subscribers, which is fantastic. So, welcome, everybody. On a Sunday, we tend to come on and just hang out for an hour or so if we've bought some stuff we share it with you i went to a boot sale on my own today found a few interesting bits we also went to a jumble sale went to a jumble sale which wasn't amazing um we, no. it's a regular one for us and normally we come away with loads more than that it's a bit but there tense. was yeah it was really sparse yeah um i think they were struggling for donations but yeah. anyway um but we went on to town didn't we went into town and i didn't get a lot in town i think you got more than i did you got I, found, I found a few goodies so we're going to show you some highlights of the stuff which should be fun yeah. and um we're also going to talk about a couple of things before we start uh should we say some quick hellos i could just say we are live we're broadcasting live so if you're watching live you can say hello and interact and ask questions and stuff uh, first in today was Welsh Wonder. Do you want wow. to say a few Hello, other Nia. hellos? <laughs> um, yeah, um, it's usually Lucy. Where's she gone? Um, and Peter is in. James, Amy, um, George is in. Hi, George. I think he said That's he was going to pop can... back. Yeah, look, oh. he might be back now. Okay, yeah, Ken McMillan's in. Uh, DMH Products, Claire Thompson, Lincoln Seller. So anyway, yes. Loads. Thank Christine, Chelsea. I, I was chatting with Chelsea today, Ellen at the boot yeah. sale. Had a little bit of a chat and a catch up, which was good. Yeah, cool. Oh, Sue. Sue Erin's in. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. Hope you're well. Right, I'm going to whiz past. Sorry if we haven't said hello. There's so many people in. We'll be here all day. Yeah. Wow. I think Matt Walker asked us if we could give a shout out to his wife. Um, I noticed that. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. To my wife, Jem, who's feeling a bit poorly today. I feel better soon. Hi, Hello, Jem. Jem. <laughs> yeah, hope you're feeling better soon. Uh, Pleasant Valley Pickers in as well. Hi there, good to see you. Right, we will have to crack on. We've got loads of stuff. Oh, Lex is in. We were watching Eurovision last <laughs> night and we had a little messenger chat going on with uh, various Lex people. And Steve, yeah. Lex and Steve. It was hilarious. It was yeah, so it was much fun. Funny. And um, yeah, none of our predictions for the winner panned out. <laughs> And we and we were last by a country mile. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a couple of things before we start sharing stuff. Um, I want to say thanks to Dave Rowland, who um, bought us a little gift from Andrew Money Mental, and it arrived. It is a quiz game, so we might dip into this later. This is right up your street. This is it's hello, celebrity, celebrity quiz. So um, yeah, thanks, Dave, if you're watching. I've already thanked him on Messenger. But... And then you may have seen on Thursday, uh, we have managed somehow to reach 30,000 subs. So we did a little bit, bit of a special on Thursday and we asked everybody, well, we're giving away some stuff. So we're giving away a couple of prizes. We're giving away um, the eBay mug that I was given when we went up to eBay HQ. Not the one I've been drinking out of. <laughs> no, and uh, the eBay notepad as well. So that's going to be one prize. And then another prize is this brand new hope you can see there you go arbury 2 dab radio yeah. uh, which we were kindly given by a chap we met up there who hopefully if we can arrange it is yeah. going to come and guest on the channel which would be, be fab. yeah be really good if we could so if you are interested in winning those prizes well, all you need to do is pop over to the video we released on thursday i put a link for that below and just leave us a comment uh, let us know your name, where you're from. As I said in that other video, we don't need your full address unless you're the winner, and then I'll contact you. Just yeah. where you're from. That, that's a private one, <laughs> yeah. not, not on a YouTube. Because that's really interesting for us. 
We know we have uh, people who watch from all over the world and everyone is welcome to enter this. So just go over there, leave a name, where you're from and leave us a little message, um, what you enjoy about the channel or just whatever. And then you will be entered into a draw. We'll randomly pick two winners and we'll let you know during the week sometime. We'll, we'll pick it tomorrow. I think yeah. that's the plan. So we might do it. Yeah, little... you were talking about doing some sort of live. In yeah, we might pop Although on tomorrow I'm, or I don't I'm know. I'm in and out with Ellen because she has dance on a Monday evening. So, so we'll see. yeah, do that. You can pop over there and do it now if you like or after the show. But you need to do that comment on that other video. So it's all in the same place. So we can just pick from the list of people that are on there. <sighs> so, <laughs> hi, Bianca. And there was a question hi, Selena. from James What's Moore, I noticed. Can right. Not... What back a bit? Yeah, there we go. Um, said so I've been watching your video, Nick, on wrapping breakables such as mugs. But can you offer any further advice? I've had two breakages with Hermes in the last two weeks, please. You can't wrap it enough, really. I would just say yeah. have have as much distance between the mug and the outside of the box as you can. I've wrapped mugs in boxes this sort of size before now. Um, yeah, loads of padding, loads of cushioning. I don't know. I tend to do bubble wrap, then wrap it in card so it's like a little sealed little thing and then suspend that with loads and loads of either wallpaper or scrunched up newspaper. And that's touch wood always worked for me. Yeah. So, yeah, try that. Um, OK, so we're going to share some stuff. Um, just some highlights of the bits and bobs. Do you want to start with something? Well, you didn't get a lot, did you really? No, I really didn't. And normally it's fantastic. I normally come away with a massive bag full from this jumble, but I didn't this time. No. So, um, do you want to start with something or should I? Yeah, I'll oh, start with something. Well, we'll save that then. Okay. I'll start with this. It's the most interesting thing. Um, they normally have like a table. Well, they have three tiered kind of things. So they have like... Mm. Um, rails of what they deem to be the best stuff and then a table of the better stuff and then they have the normal jumble stuff so i go to the sort of better stuff first um and this was on the rail you might have to stand up and model oh i'm modeling me. right hold on but this is just really unusual and um caught my eye and i just thought i would give it a go and it was a pound i think I've got to find the right way around. It's huge. Really. Know, well, it's, it's, a, it's a, like a smock. What, what would you call this? Yeah, it's a tunic. It's a long... Tunic? Or a caftan. A long caftan. So, yeah, I just thought it was really, really interesting. And, it's like a... You know, festival season is perfect, isn't it? So, so is this kind of an ethnic thing? What What is it? it you know what I mean? It looks... Well, I mean, if anyone can come up the, with any keywords... It um, reminds me. I'm probably way off, but... Um, Gospel choirs, <laughs> yeah. Gospel I choir don't... singers. Oh. Is that? <laughs> Am I barking up the wrong tree? It could be, but I think it's very boho. This is um, very, yeah. I mean, it's really got loads of deta intricate. detailing on it. What would you call that? Is that like embroidery, really? Yeah, it's like got lots of. Um, I don't know what I don't know what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> We're showing our level of expertise here. We're not really sure what we've got. So what would you say for that? Fugly, question mark. Well, I quite like it. Caftan, tabard, poncho. That's from that advert. And a horse ran out. And the horse was, there was a man in a caftan, tabard, poncho. I love that advert. Um, any ideas? Yeah, so you're meaning um, African. Well, yeah, yeah, it does. It could, it's quite. Yeah, African, African choir like... sort of. They're very African colours. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't know but I, I just thought that was really boho and i thought you know you could wear it as a dress with a belt um anything like that so yeah thanks jesse tried to tell nick a couple of times but he missed my comments oh sorry mark what have i missed I, there's so much chat guys if we miss stuff we can only apologize but it, it just whizzes past and we're trying to <laughs> talk at the same time um let me see if i can find what mark was asking I can't even find it. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for the video regarding Donkey Kong. Was it that? I bought one the other weekend for a pound and sold for 165. Wow. High five. That's the way to do it. 165. Was that boxed then? 
Wowzers. Or maybe it's just a rarer one. That's that's epic. I got 50 for mine because, as you saw, it was unboxed and it wasn't in great condition. Wow. Great flip. Looks like a bikini. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? <laughs> um, Eddie Murphy wore something yeah. like that in Coming to but America. It's, it's yeah, very, yeah it's, it's very African looking. But like I said, I in my head, I'm imagining lots of jewellery, um, you know, a, a belt round it, wear it as a dress kind of thing. Perfect for festivals. <laughs> Just reading what Bianca put. I filmed at a street yesterday that did garage sales. And there was also an estate sale. I forgot my camera there and someone tried to buy my camera <laughs> from the owner and deleted all my material. No. Oh, my goodness. Nightmare. Did you get it back then? Must have done if you know they've deleted. I'm material. just writing down Kelly's. Keywords. Keyword. M Moo Moo. What, no, what does that mean? That's from um, KLF and the Justified Ancients of Moo Moo. Oh, is it? 3A. Uh, yeah. 3A. So the, the justify the ancients uh, of Moo Moo. Yeah, yeah, we're clueless okay. on that one. Any any help is <laughs> gladly received. I think you just um, zoomed by. What we done? What somebody was talking about keywords. Anyway, oh, Egyptian, Roman, maybe. Roman? What like a toga? They wore more white stuff, didn't they? Not the high street. <laughs> <laughs> they shopped at white stuff. No, they preferred fat face. Uh, Aztec poncho, says Kenneth, yeah. Didn't Homer Simpson wear a moo moo? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. should we, we carry on? Yeah, carry um, on. I'm going to start with this. This might be my favourite find of the day. Um, That's what you got today, isn't it? Yeah, because it's Zoids. And I collected Zoids in the 80s when I was a kid. This is much later. This is a real later model. I think it's, um, <laughs> hold on. I think it's 2000s, 2002. Um, it's in its box, which helps it, but look how sun faded that is. All of the reds have gone, which is a shame. Um, yeah, as with a lot of things, prices were all over the place, but some people have been getting 20 plus. So it's not amazing, but it only cost me 50p. Um, looks to be all there, but I need to, uh, some bits of it have fallen apart. <laughs> but it says maybe the former stage outfit of Demis Roussos. <laughs> Demis Roussos, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's got its little uh, booklet, which is cool. So not a big earner, like I say, I'll, I'll push for 20 out of it, but um, from 50p, that's not too bad. It's just a nice thing, you know, something that floats my boat, but I'm getting a, a real whiff of cigarette smoke maybe or just general yeah. been in the attic for a while smell yeah so that was cool um <coughs> now andrew wasn't there for me to kind of decide whether these were good because you well, just said yes immediately but i thought there has to be a market for um, knitted converse Ellen, their Ellen size have you shown her yet oh, i don't think i'll get them back how cool are these i mean i for years wore converse high tops and virtually nothing else mm -hmm. um but they're not great for your feet so i've kind of tried to stop doing that but um these are way too small for me these are like kind of uh fur lined and they look almost knitted that like you've got like braided <laughs> yeah like, but they're really cool because you could you can wear them like down like that and then they've still they've got a badge on the outside yeah, of they've it got as well. an inner badge and an outer badge so I paid three pounds. Got a free bit of grass with that. Nice. <laughs> they're, they're obviously worn, but most of the tread is still there. So, yeah, what do you reckon? That was pretty good. Yeah, I, give them a bit of a scrub. I, I couldn't find any similar. I tried to look up some of this stuff earlier. Couldn't find anything similar. So, I don't know. Has anyone ever sold any of these? They do. It just looks they're like really, a, they're really fun. They're very clean. It's like outside. a woolly jumper. <laughs> what size? Five, Louise. High, t high tops and nothing else, says Ken. <laughs> yes, I'll roll. <laughs> You'd see me walking around town in my high tops and nothing else. 
You did say that a um, certain act won the Eurovision last night. You were going to, was it San Marino? I, I, if San I, Marino won the Eurovision, you were going to. Um, I was going to streak up the road, the road naked if San Marino won. Uh, they beat us, though, by a country mile. Yeah. So I don't know where we're going to go price wise. We'll, we'll probably pick a price and uh, and shoot high. But I couldn't find any completeds on those. But I liked those. Um, now you didn't have much. Shall I carry on? If you like. Um, I did buy a couple of things in the charity shop. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just do this one. Okay. I've, I'm being drawn to cassettes all the time now. Now, since I bought that massive haul, I just seen them everywhere. This is Beatles Rubber Soul, album that I really love, actually. I had this on CD way back when I first got into music. Um, and should do okay. Completed to several different versions of this, but, you know, might be able to get a tenor out of that, which is nice. Uh, I think that was 20p. Might have been 50. Uh, now you pick this up. Do you want oh, to yeah. Talk about this that? was on the jumble cell table. It's a guitar strap. It's Fender. Um, it's not leather, um, but it was brand new with its tag. Yeah. Um, and it was just, no, what was it, 30p, something like that? On I don't table. know. I wasn't with you when you bought this. Yeah. But it's officially branded Fender. But, yeah, I think the leather ones go for more. I looked into this and quite a lot. I think it's a current thing and people are selling it new for around the 10 to 12 pound mark. But I just thought, you know, you can't go wrong with any of that EP. Not so. with branded Fender stuff, brand new with tags. So, yeah, that was a nice little pickup. Oh, Sarah up. said, um, missed the price, bought four pairs of shoes today for three pounds each plus one pair of vintage, one, one pound vintage ladies' clothes. Uh, small haul, but my daughter's birthday party, so strapped for time. That's, that's cool. Um, you didn't say a price, did you, on those shoes? Three. Oh, did you? Oh, that's how much you pay for them, but you mm. didn't know what you were going to listen for. I don't know how much they're worth. I couldn't find any um, anything to compare it with. Not that we're like, you know, look like they were made out of woolly jumpers. Sorry, just uh, <laughs> distracted by George giving tips on cleaning stuff with baby wipes. Oh, um, but yeah, baby wipes are in. just good for everything, really, aren't they? Oh, get through so many amazing. baby wipes in this um, house. This was a, a table pickup, so 30p again, brand new with tags, um, new look jeans, um, very current and trendy with Someone's their Someone's chopped ups. the ends off them. Yeah, well, that's that's the current trend, isn't it? Is that trendy have, now, is it? To oh, have, oh, like, clueless. cropped jeans that look like someone's chopped the ends off. And, um, yeah. So they were twenty four ninety nine in the yeah. shop. So with an item that's new with tags like that, where would you price that then? Would you use that as a guide? Um, I'd still probably look at completed just to get an idea. Right. But yeah, I mean, it's annoying that that says they've written ten on it because. Oh, was that a sale item? Yeah. Then, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you don't know. You'll have to. Look so up. I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to look them up. Cool. But I mean, at least 15, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Um, found a little bit of software. This is uh, Windows XP uh, Professional. So it's got the uh, product key in there and the official disk with all of its hologram loveliness. Um, I think these go for about 10 to 15, that sort of money. Uh, and that was a pound. Uh, I've sold this sort of stuff loads of times. So. That shouldn't hang around. Oh, and we found this in the charity shop. Oh, yeah. But we're going to watch it again. That's a keep. Well, it's a keeper uh, until we we, went, we saw this in the cinema. When it was it? About a month or two back. Um, we're going to watch it again and then sell it on whilst it has a little bit of value. Mm. If you've not seen it, it's worth watching. Amazing. And you're going to see the... Um, Rocket Man. Rocket Man as yeah, well. Yeah, but um, not this week because Aladdin comes out the same day. So we're going to see Aladdin on Wednesday. And then we'll see Rocket Man. Get another you. point <laughs> but aladdin comes first sorry um, but i do want to see rocket Man. <laughs> amazing film um, loved it says l33 misses oh it was fantastic um thought i saw somebody ask about my cardigan and this was a charity shop pickup um i think it's peacocks actually <laughs> hi shelly i just really liked it it's very colorful uh question have you listed the items from your haul they video are yet? all 
listed they're not all live so i've had a lot of comments saying i can't find this on ebay i want to look at what you've put on ebay but i haven't actually made them live yet so when i said that i drafted them and i might have said i listed it for it was because i've literally listed everything but i haven't made everything live yet so um yeah yes i just need i spent all week drafting it all because i wanted to get it all ready and priced so i could do my video so um but i think you've already had a sale from that from yeah, somebody from messaging Lisa, you um, if Lisa you if you bank. do see stuff i was just going to say in one of andrew's halls or tonight or whatever and it's something that you want to purchase message us through yeah, facebook don't, don't message, us, message on us on ebay saying hi i'd like to send you some you know because we're not meant to deal outside of ebay i mean it's we'll, we'll all get in trouble <laughs> so if you do want to contact us about buying something you see find us on facebook um, yeah. or instagram if you're on instagram yes so talking of instagram um i'm still on instagram you know no, i don't no, use no. it a lot i shared that i picked up these these are something to look out for these are later seasons of hustle so we've got season seven and eight and have a look at completeds because it's quite surprising people have been getting about 20 pounds for these um and if you get the box set that's 50 plus i think still um, it's a really popular series, but I assume it's now deleted on DVD, which is why they've gone up in value. I don't know. These oh. were at the jumble. I think Gary's just bought some um, DVD RAM discs. Oh, it's just one. It was an odd one I had. Oh, okay. That was from the jumble where we went and filled the mini the other Thanks. last week. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're worth looking out for. If you can remember that hustle, particularly the later series, have a look on eBay. It might surprise you. Um, David Williams says, just wanted to say hi, never managed to catch one of your live streams. So hi, David. Hello, David. Thanks for joining us. Welcome aboard. Um, yeah, and that was almost all I picked up at the Jumble, wasn't it? What else did I? I can't oh, remember. No. There was a few other bits and bobs, but. Yeah. Um, Random Chaos says, hey, Nick and Andrea, I just wanted to say to all of you, thank you for wishing me luck with my GCSEs. Week one down, only three to go. Um, gone well so far fantastic stick at it yes you're nearly there yeah the other end is near it's near in sight <laughs> wow yeah best of luck light at the end of the tunnel right ash had a ka -ching at the exact same time as us huh. it was like surround sound ka -ching. nice that's strange right do you want to do something yeah this was on the rail so i paid a pound for this mm -hmm. and it's east which is quite East. nice yeah oh okay one of them and oh it it's feels, nothing amazingly it's woolen. It feels wool well it might be what might be a wool mix let's have a look at the label actually where is it oh it's got oh, a it's been dry there. cleaned That's uh 50 percent cool. wool 50 percent viscose it's got a rosette made out of the same material on it yeah it's pretty funky okay so, so that's all for a pound I'll go with that. So it's like a little... But yeah, I mean, it was really dire. I normally pick up tons. I'm normally like um, picking it up and I have a pile of stuff on my arm from the from the rail. There's just nothing. Well, how so... it normally works is I'll go in, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll grab a pile of stuff from the toys, then I'll go up on to the bric a brac and up on the stage and grab some more. Then I'll go to media and grab a load of media. Then I'll come and find Andrew and you'll have already filled up an IKEA bag within the first sort of. 10 minutes this will be yeah. and then we then we go and drop off i came and found you and you're like mm. and i was I like i bought two dvds but you know <laughs> was... we don't really as we keep saying it we don't really need it and if you saw my um haul the other day then you can yeah. see i've got enough to be dealing with so, so um this not a biggie all oh, these are lovely is rather cool i got these today um i still think the zoid is my favorite find just because it's something that you know reminds me of my childhood and that sort of stuff excites me but these are nice these are brand new i chatted to the store owners they never used them i mean you can see it by the condition and they are le cruze ceramics so we've got a pie dish that's i think that's about 25 centimeters something oh, like that we've had a super chat from from rob from quillin have we i didn't even see it I'm sorry it's the Could super chat thing's not up. working. Oh, there it is. Ah. Oh, thank you, Rob. Um, coming to the USA again this summer? No, I wish we were. We're not. 
we're, we're going to Disneyland Paris in October, but we're, that's that's the only holiday we're having this year, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to do a few other things. We're actually away soon, aren't we, for a little family thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but our main holiday this year is in France to Disneyland. Because <laughs> we're doing Disney again two years in a row. Um, but yeah, these are lovely. Thanks for the super chat, by the way, Quillen. Uh, really appreciate it. They're both this dark blue. This one's even bigger. And again, Le Creuset. Uh, I paid £10 for the pair. Was struggling to find completeds, but I think I'm going to shoot for £20 to £30 each. And if I don't get it, I'll come down. But I'm, I think that might be achievable because they are very, pristine, very nice. unused. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and this okay. was quite nice. Um, oh, that's lovely. I really like that. I've bought you a few of these. Yeah, over I've the got years. the. I've got some of the angels. That you do. This is. Oh, it's too glary here, yeah, isn't it? Right. It's like there you go. Uh, it's willow tree. They're they're not wooden, are they? They're they're made of like a resin. You might be able to see the brand here. Willow tree. They're not worth loads of money. Um, this one should get about fifteen pounds. The lady had three different ones. One was a, a slightly damaged. One was just a little plaque that hangs on the wall. I don't think it's much demand for that sort of stuff, but the figures are quite collected. Um, so from a pound to 15, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, Maria picked in? up a, a Le Creuset frying pan, 50p at a jumble. Fantastic. Nice. It's a nice price. Quiz time. <laughs> Not yet. We've got more tat. Don't rush the quiz. Um, oh, I picked this up and I've discovered, I I think, I don't think I did it on the way home, but it's got a chip. Oh, no, I just have to keep it. Well, just hold your horses there with the mug. <laughs> I probably wouldn't use it, though, because it's tiny, but I, oh, I might put pens It's really it. nice. It, it's it, really cute. It's really reminiscent of 70s. I, I love my home. It's a Snoopy vintage little mug. It's nothing great, but it was tempting. I was chatting nothing to a lady. Nothing great? Excuse me. As in resale value-wise. <laughs> um, I was chatting to a lady. I bought something else from her, and I can't remember what it was. And then she had this, and it was only 10p. Oh, I can't get it to show. There he is. And it's it's actually 60s. It's dated 1965. I don't know whether that's just the illustration copyright or what, but... Yeah, it's got a little nice. chip on the rim, so um, do, you want, do you want one to add to your hundreds of mugs? Yeah, I um, might use it too. I'm, I need a little pot to put my labels in, so I might, um, might use it for that. Andrea takes a mug for the team, <laughs> says Mary Deathly Deals. Um, um, I've bought a couple of things in the charity shop. Amanda Roberts picked up a volcanic red uh, cruet loaf tin, or is that, Le Cru no, is that meant to be Le Creuset yeah, loaf tin, yeah. at a charity shop for £5 and sold on eBay for 50 Oh, that's a high five. Pa -ching! Loaf tin. Mm. Mm. Very nice. I'll just put the um, right. receipt there so that... In, in, my f in my filing... On my desk that you can't see, we've got filing of receipts here. Mm. I need to spend some time sorting that out. Okay. Yep, what you got? Right, so uh, this, these were all on the pound rail in a charity shop. And this is a label I've never seen before. Um, a non, a nonim, anonyme or something. <laughs> How would you pronounce that? I don't know. Anonyme, yeah. Like anonymous, but anonyme. Yeah. Anonyme, anonyme. But anyway, I I picked it out because I really like the print, but I looked up the comps while you were browsing the CDs and actually it's a designer label and it fetches quite a price. So So it was three pound fifty. Yeah. As you might be able to see on there, it's hard to get it out of the glare. And then that was on the pound rail, was it? It's really light. It's like there's nothing to it. Feels almost like silk. Yeah, well, I don't think it is silk. No, no, but yeah, that sort of. But yeah, it's a really cool pattern. Um, and then this was on the pound rail. I might as well just show you all the pound rail ones. Um, I didn't actually look the, up the comps of this, but I thought classic denim shirt. I've, I've got a feeling that fabric is something good. <laughs> <laughs> Fab <laughs> fabric is something good. 
<laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> heard it here first. Um, and it's got like multicolored flecks in it. You can't see it on on the screen probably, but it's got really tiny, tiny little multicolored flecks of oh, red, yeah. blue, yellow. Yeah. And it's really cool. So, yeah. And it's got pockets. <gasps> Look at that. I love a pocket, don't you? Yeah. He loves a pocket. Never, I've never seen a pocket in a denim shirt before. Becky loves so, how um, passionate you are about your mug. I know. Well, I love Snoopy anyway. Yeah. Love Snoopy. I love mugs. You know, can't go wrong. Um, so there was that. And then I, uh, the third thing I picked up was this top. I'm just going to strip for you now. <laughs> Careful what so, you promise. It's just a little um, sort of tunic top with bell sleeves, which is really cool. That was a pound, and it was my size, so I kept it. We're not rushing the quiz. It's just that we might as well let me win now rather than later, says Random Chaos. We don't let anyone win. I mean, you've seen how harsh this one is. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and get to the end of the chat. Sorry if we're missing stuff, guys. Oh, Shirley says she loves the top. Um, Linden Grove blog, I have to go and feed the family. Okay, thanks for popping in um it's just here this is the first live i've managed to catch new subscriber and have binged watched your videos wow oh, really want to get into reselling thank you for sharing everything you have that's our pleasure um anonymy is a woman's designer brand from rome oh cool says fritz thank, thank you thank you fritz okay so let me share few more bits i'm gonna do yeah, kind of edited highlights oh this Becky's was cool. loving the top as well yeah it's really nice really soft it's just boohoo but i just yeah i liked it i grabbed this um it was a pound um because it was new and sealed it's connects but it's also official nintendo it's a donkey kong little car and there's a listing for it on amazon there's only like a couple of sellers i think and it's priced at like 50 pounds which i think is ridiculous um, but I think it will go well on eBay anyway. So that, I'm quite pleased with that. You get a Donkey Kong figure in it and the little car that you build. So that was interesting. Our oh, was... Boss Play TV says fabric is lower range like Topshop. Oh, well. It's a funky shirt for a pound. I was going to pick it up. Um, we're, we're kind of getting into our little point and shoot 90s uh, cameras. Pick one up today. I've got it for two pounds. It's an SPO 115 by Pentax. It's got its box and its manual, which which will really help the price. It will help it to sell. And yeah, I've seen the top end for these is about 20, but they range all over the place like usual. Um, so I'll aim for the top, particularly because it's boxed with its manual. Um, it's actually got a film in it. It's quite weird, isn't it, when you get a camera with film in it? Think what what's on there, but what can you do, eh? Yeah. So that was nice to pick that up in its box. We have a super chat from Carl. Thank you, Carl. Hey, it Carl. Says, Greetings from sunny St. Helens. Is it really sunny? It's <laughs> dark around here. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat, Carl. Good to see you here. Hi, Heather. I noticed that... Um, Corey was going on about Andrew eating a, a raw onion. I missed. On I missed that. I, uh, I'm. I've heard it was disgusting, so I'm quite glad I missed it. <laughs> Matthew says I've dropped you a Facebook message, Nick. Okay, I will try and look at it. If you do message me and I take a while to get back to you, um, it's generally because I get hundreds of messages on our reseller page, um, direct uh, through YouTube here. And it's Instagram, <laughs> Instagram, our, our website, and I struggle to keep up. But yes, um, I will try and reply. <laughs> um, this was good find ink. If you've not got into reselling ink, um, you have to be a little bit selective, but there's money in what ink. number is that? Oh, no. 920 XL. I paid, I think I paid two, and it's in date october 2019 which will help but people have been getting up to 50 quid for that pack so that's just easy money really um yeah. andrew says he wished he'd he'd missed it too <laughs> 
what's the instagram links should be below yeah. for mine and now didn't you reach some milestone on yours yeah i reached um three thousand followers show off i don't know what i'm on I'm about a thousand maybe i don't know um right i'm gonna pick out some highlights oh we went charity shopping after the jumble sale yesterday we didn't film um anything yesterday um because we're not allowed to film at the jumble which is fair enough and then we just fancied a day of not filming really so which was quite nice but i did find some software in a charity shop now two pound fifty each so most Wii games, it wouldn't be affordable to buy at that price. But these are good ones. This is Metal Slug Anthology. Um, if you're not into your games, that might sound really strange. But Metal Slug is a very popular series of games. Uh, they were car arcade games back in the day. Uh, it's complete with its manual, and that should be a comfortable £20 on that one. And then we all know that Mario Kart is worth picking up. Um, I've, I tend to pick up these whenever I see them. I've currently got five in stock. I doubt I'll bundle all five. But what I tend to do is bundle oh, uh, bundle a couple, if not three wheels with it, and then ask about 20 quid. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, with the Wii wheels, uh, the blue little circle is a good indication that it's an official one. And then it will have, it's tiny, but there's a tiny little Nintendo logo there if you're wondering if it's an official or not. So that's those and then perhaps the best find when we walked around the charity shops after the jumble was oh yeah this is really cool this little beauty i didn't even see this neither of us did just walked straight past it we walked in and it was sat on a table on display mm. and i went and i did my usual have a look at toys and games and have a look at the media and then the bric-a-brac whilst Andrea's doing the clothes. I think it's because it was just in a case like that and it wasn't open. So It wasn't open, no. It was just sat no. on the side on the table. But what this is, you'll have seen me selling typewriters on and off over the years. This is one of the nicest ones I think I've found. This is an Olivetti Letterer 32. And if you look at completeds on this, they go right up into the hundreds. Although some of the ones that were in the hundreds said... It's got cursive script, a cursive script keyboard, and I couldn't oh. really work out what they were talking about. Even if it's not got that, um, I should be looking at 50 to 60, 70 maybe. So, yeah, that was nice. And we paid £8, which is what they had it labelled at in the shop. I was happy to pay it. So that's what it is. Really, really nice condition. I've had a play around with it. Steady. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it works fine. There's no manual, which does help the price when you're selling it, unless it's tucked in here somewhere. No. Um, we've had a super chat from Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. She said, I'm an avid fan in West Sussex. And I do believe Amanda is trying to organise a meetup in West Sussex. Oh. Um, I think I've seen something like that on the chat chat. Yeah, use the chat chat if you are arranging meetups. You can, you can put an event in there, I think, somehow. Don't ask me how um but yeah feel free if you're trying to arrange to uh, get together the whole point of the tat chat is it's a social it's to carry on this side chat really that was yeah. the thought when we started that group it's more of a social place really of anything so you're getting loads of um followers on instagram i see your phone in front of me and it's just flashing up am i getting followers on this go and follow me on it i've got to catch up with andrew who's now on three thousand shall i go in and see how, where i'm at i've spent a long time working on that though you know <laughs> um how do i find out how many um followers i've got what do i do oh uh, random chaos says nick and andrea how much do you want for the mario how many wheels and does it have a manual because i would buy that um it is complete it's got the manual and inserts let me have a quick look at the disc i wouldn't have bought it if it was mashed well actually i might have done because i've got the We've cds got repair Disney. machine now but yeah it's actually really minty fresh um yeah with a couple of wheels or three or whatever i usually pitch it around 20 but message me and we can work something out um yeah how do i find out how many followers i've got 
<laughs> Andrew said. Just ignore him. <laughs> well, Andrew said Andrea follows her followers back, though, Nick. <laughs> oh, I don't do the whole following people thing. I, I just, I can't, can't be bothered. Yeah. That's Ellen on her. She's yeah. Potting her cacti today. I, I fear if I start following everyone that follows me, I'll just be like one of you know scrolling through endless Instagram all the time. Right? How do I find out how many people are, are on my thing? You go. He doesn't even know how to use it. You go to your profile. One thousand two hundred and sixty-one. I'll have you know. To one thousand two hundred and sixty-seven now. One thousand two hundred and sixty-seven. One thousand two hundred sixty-eight. <laughs> Should we just do this for a while? See, wait till it goes down. <laughs> Right, anyway, so that was uh, perhaps one of the best pickups of that day. Um, yeah, payday, I'm going to shoot for at least sort of 50 to 70. But like I said, there was a few that I think were mainly in America, whether that was the reason, whether you can get more in America, I don't know. Shelley says, but, well, yeah, what? Insta is Andrea's arena, Nick. You can't just waltz in and push your numbers up by announcing it on your Sunday live hangout. <laughs> You watch me, Shell. I can I can do just that. Look, it's, people are subbing yeah. all the well, time. My Instagram is down below uh, as well. You got three thousand um, followers already. You don't need. I don't anymore. have my phone in here, so I can't see if you're following me. <laughs> I picked up at the jumble. Well, I picked up loads of wallpaper, which might actually be worth selling now. Oh. I put I picked it up because there's loads more in the other room. Um, mm. a whole bundle of it. I think there was five or six rolls, uh, for two pounds. I've mentioned it before. I use this as void fill. Um, but this anaglypta, 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 yeah. it's like raised effect stuff. Um, does have a bit of value, so I mm. might look into it's selling like Artex, it. but in a paper form. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, West Ham now wants to send you a message on Instagram. I wouldn't hold your breath on getting an answer. <laughs> I've answered people on Instagram. I'll have you know rude I'll do mind that. you i'm just as bad to be fair um and i picked up this at the same time as the wallpaper i don't know if you can see uh it's a oh yeah g-tech multi g-tech multi extension tube cool brand new in the box the box has been a little bit squished oh thank you pink nylon but you just followed uh, me on instagram <laughs> <laughs> um yeah not big value and it should get a tenner out of it but you know oh karen says if you like cockapoos follow her on instagram because she's got a very gorgeous mm. cock cockapoo called monty and that just sounds very wrong <laughs> karen's got a gorgeous cockapoo i've seen it um and then i bought uh if you've watched many of these you know that our background is in uh media retail uh, high street retail and that's still a big part of what we do although it's getting harder to make money on media i still love buying cds and dvds and i bought a selection most of it isn't worth really sharing um highlights of which yes. i just need to say because i've seen this come up a few times and yep. i haven't been able to read it out because i keep having to interrupt you um, retro cable keeps asking about um the paypal um not pay paypal not refunding fees on re returned items to be honest we don't know the answer to that ourselves i'm afraid i know that they're doing it in america but i don't know if anyone else knows and is able to answer that <coughs> question i know that if um paypal uk have put that into place as well and yeah yeah i don't know please let us know because we don't know ourselves to be honest amanda says she follows me on instagram oh uh, yeah i think i've seen you on instagram amanda so I'm going to bore you to tears with a handful of media highlights, right? So if you want to go and make a cup of tea now, feel free. All right, just sit back. Zoo Tycoon Complete Sealed, worth looking out for. Check it out on Amazon. You'll be surprised what that goes for. Um, I think it goes for less on eBay, but there's very few people that have it sealed. It's still a really popular game. It's one of those games that people love to go back to that they were playing in the, when was this, sort of early 2000s, I guess. Um yeah, that was um, a pound, and I'm going to shoot high on Amazon, like 40, 50, believe it or not. Another sealed, more brain training. I picked one up last week. Brain training games, worthless. Sealed has a bit of value, so I'm going to shoot for about 20 on Amazon with that. This I might keep. This is uh, Michael Gondry or Michelle Gondry, is it Michelle? He pronounces it, can't remember. Um Famous for doing some amazing uh, music videos. This is the White Stripes here in Lego. 
Uh, did, he worked with Bjork a number of times. Uh, yeah, like Hyper Ballad, mm. all sorts of people. Yeah, a bunch oh, of cool. Bachelorette he did. So this might be a keeper. Just so cool. I, I've no idea if it has any value. So mm. don't buy it on the strength of me picking it up because I might just keep it. <laughs> um, Wii Sports, always worth picking up. It's always someone looking for Wii Sports. And then another, yeah, personal. <laughs> this is personal jesus depeche mode if you if you're new to the channel you may not know but it will come up in conversation i'm slightly obsessed with depeche mode have been since the 90s this is a 1989 official you know original uh release cd single and back then most people were buying their music still on vinyl i was buying my music on vinyl in 89 hello jamin so cd singles are quite rare from back then and this is a good one. It's not big money again, 10 to 15 pounds, but it was in a charity shop where the CDs were, CDs and DVDs were three for a pound. Mm -hmm. So 33p. Hell Can yeah. you say hello to Jamin? Say hello to who, sorry? Jamin. 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 Jamin Kubavat. Hey, good to see you, Jamin. Say hello to me, you'll make my day. Well, there you and go. I do apologise if we mispronounced your name. <laughs> <laughs> and in that in that shop, I bought a lot of this came from that shop, three for a pound. Um, and as I as I went up to pay, they would they just put a couple of CDs on the desk to go out. And it's David Gilmore and Pink Floyd's. Uh, what did they call this again? Endless River albums. These are the card like little go gatefold ones. Really nice. 33p each. They might be keepers. <laughs> so. You're turning into me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might I just might listen to them and if, if it's an album that I'd fall in love with, I might keep yeah, it. Well, that's if fine. not, I mean that's the perks of the job, isn't it? So you know, getting cheap stuff. <laughs> but I mean, come on, guys. 33p for David Gilmore and a Pink Floyd um recent one um yeah okay this i took a punt on because it's unusual it's disney should we do tap points tap points on offer you have to get both of these you have to get the film and the name of the character go so for a, for a tap point and if you don't know what we're talking about tap points are normally awarded during the quiz um Tap point if you know it's not Oasis, Corey. Stop being silly. <laughs> yeah, Bugs Life is right. It's not Ants, but I need the character name. There we go. Oh yes, Walter Bugs Life. Dot. This is Dot from Bugs Life. Dot, so cute. Yeah, and it's a talking one, and I'm struggling to find completed listings on this i found one in america which is this you can find bugs life plushes they're not that unusual but talking ones as in it's got batteries in its bum like so haven't checked it yet um one in america had sold for about 20 pounds um so i think it was a fair pun i didn't look it up it just looked unusual and in really nice condition considering bugs life was mm -hmm. what was that late 90s wasn't it it's was about 97 98 that film yeah, that was quite cool. Perhaps a little bit of light damage, which you can't see in this light. Oh, Andrea said uh, Bugs Life Princess Atta. That was a different character. Looks very similar, though, I believe. Mm. So, yeah, tap point to Walter Brown. I think you were the first to get the film and the name. Started using Terrapeak yet. I haven't messed around with that yet, Andrew, no. I do need to uh, have a play about with that. Uh, let's do a few more highlights and then we'll Did get on the quiz. Did you send that chip mug to Amazon? No. Oh. To Amazon? No. You didn't. I haven't done anything with it. No, um, I just noticed when you were doing your shipment, I noticed it came up as a looked at item. So, new Toy Story film out later this year? Yes. So, Toy Story stuff is going to be in demand. And this is a vintage i believe i don't know if it's dated duvet so it's a single duvet set you've got buzz on one side of the pillowcase and woody on the other i don't know if it's dated anywhere is it mm -hmm. i've had this before i've sold this at least a couple of times 
couldn't tell you what the current value is, uh, but it's in really nice condition. That's and cool. I think I paid a pound for it, so I'd do that all day long. Let's show you. I think it's got a different design on each side. So you've got woody side, like so, and buzz side. Oh, that's fun. Hey. That's really cool. Who doesn't want that? Upside down buzz. Yeah, my brother would have loved that when he was younger. Would he? Yeah, love Toy Story. Would he? Would he? <laughs> no, would he? No, he was, he was a buzz, Anybody? buzz no. fan more than Woody. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so that was that. A uh, couple more highlights and then we'll do some quiz. Oh, that cool book I found. Mm. Mm. That so is a very cool book. The usual sort of board games and stuff. This I thought might be re something really special. We'll quickly talk about this. First thing I picked up today at the uh, car boot sale is this vintage, well I say vintage, it's 2001. Um, so it's got this like brick branding that the earlier toys had. And it's Adventure Through Hogwarts, Electronic Lights and Sounds, 3D Game. Snappy little title there. That's what it looks like. I haven't set it all up, but it looks like it might still, some parts are still sealed in the bags and stuff, so I'm hopeful it's complete. Um, I paid a pound. A couple of people have managed to achieve 20 to 25. I thought it might be a lot more than that because it, I've never seen this. I don't know if anyone else has had this, but we do well on Harry Potter stuff, so um, I took a go on that one. I'm quite interested to set it up. Mm. Could even have a play. Should we have a play? What now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyone had that Ella before? Would, well, Ella would like to. Yeah, maybe we could play that with massive Ella. Massive Harry Potter fan. That's what it looks like when it's all set up. How cool is that? I really, I don't know. I had the feeling this might be a, a rarity, and it could be, you know, forty, fifty pounds worth, but doesn't look like it. Um, Shazad says, "Have you used web web interpret? They've just launched a GSP type service." I've had great success using it, averaging over five orders a day from it compared to two to three orders a week. Um, that's what Zahir goes on about, isn't it? Mm. Um, we don't really know a great deal about it. We probably should look into yeah. it more. Um, yeah, what I was trying to get to was, oh, right, three more things and then quiz, right? Promise. Oh, it's nearly nine o'clock. I know, exactly. Okay, cover that up. One quick tap point on offer. Who's that? Easy one. There'll be a short delay. Who was that? Who was that? Great mm -hmm. album, actually. Kate yes. Bush, yes, Matt. Matt. Matt gets the uh, tap point there. Madonna. Oh, seriously, Andrew? Um, I don't tend to deal in a lot of vinyl. Um, but for a pound, I grabbed this in a charity shop. It's worth about 10, so yeah. But this from the same charity Ooh, shop. This was nice. This was in the window. It weighs about five kilos. Disney animation, The, the Illusion, Illusion of Life. It's a huge book all about how they created the characters, all about different animators and the work they did, going right the way back to Snow White and Pinocchio and the all of the early ones the beautiful beautiful book mm. and i forgot to look it up what well i looked it up in the shop just to mm. check that it was worth what i thought it was and it was but what was it selling for it's like it's a fair amount i can't remember now might have a quick look now see if i've got a... yeah. let me quickly look so you can uh have it in your mind when you're out and about in case you see it yeah disney animation illusion life that should bring it up oh jesse the reseller said i had this book for my birthday nice awesome. completed no uh, probably picker says can't see andrew letting you sell that no i, I uh, that's fine <laughs> you can you can sell that <laughs> okay so the only used ones that are coming up are in america hmm that's interesting and they're, they're not going for massive, about £20 plus shipping in America. So maybe I could shoot for more. 
but yeah certainly worth picking up at the price we paid which was two pounds 20. it was in the window of the charity shop mm. and i bet it hadn't been there very long no so i'm probably going to go considerably higher than that if there's I none in the so. uk yeah. And if and if we have to keep hold of it for a while, have then you looked it up on Amazon. So be it. I haven't looked it up on Amazon. Should I scan it into it? There's no barcode. Oh, that's weird. No barcode. Mm. Yeah, it might be one that I could send into Amazon. But anyway, that was really nice. And last thing, I'm going to end on a bit of a fail. Oh, mm. you'd think, right? Star Wars. Hmm, good brand. Sealed in the box. Mm, good idea. Minty fresh. Ooh, lovely. Hot wheels. Come on. Everything about this says buy me. It's going to be worth something. Paid three pounds. Worth about a fiver. Mm. What's that all about? Yeah. Yeah, well. So get your money back on then. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it, look, look at look how exciting that is. He doesn't want that in their life. But yeah, they just don't seem to be selling. Perhaps this Star Wars Hot Wheels range just didn't take off, or I don't know. On Amazon, I think you can get it brand new for about eight. On FBA, after FBA fees, there'd be nothing in it. So there you go. You can you can't win them all. Anyone wants that? Let me know. Right. Uh, there's loads more tap, but we're going to stop there, I think. Yeah. I mean, there are lots of people asking us about um, our items and finding it on eBay. As we said before, if you're interested in anything that you see in any of our haul videos at any time, then um, just message us on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, just drop us a line and Some... let us know that you're interested, um, even if you just want to know questions like size or anything. It's Rogue One and no one watched it. I watched that and I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that better than the other recent Star Wars films, to be fair. But let's just reiterate, please don't message us on eBay about them. Yes. <laughs> Greetings from Cyprus, says the Burtons 49. I love oh, wow. watching your videos. You work great together. You should be on television. <laughs> the next and Richard and Judy. Richard and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um yeah. yeah, I just want to actually follow up on that, that we do get quite a lot of just messages, just ordinary messages on our eBay. And please, if you please don't message us on eBay, full stop, unless it's to do with an item that you're buying or that you're interested in, um, because, yeah, it, it affects. We can't really answer you. We can't really re reply to you on eBay. And then it affects our account because we're not replying. So we, you know. Yeah, if just, you're interested in buying something, you need to arrange that through Facebook. Yeah, but even um, just if you want to just say hi or you want to, you know, just, you know, we just get messages, don't we, on yeah, eBay yeah. sometimes. Please don't message us on eBay. We, you can message us on Facebook. Um, <laughs> you can message us. Through our website, which is yeah. probably one of the better ways. Um, there might even be, is there an email address on our, if you if you are on our e eBay? Did, is there an eBay? email address I don't, facebook i don't know facebook or website is fine um but yeah. i was gonna i've lost my train of thread thought whatever Tra train of thread what was i going to talk about i don't know but you get all manic and i find it really difficult to get a word in oh okay so oh has kenneth put the link in for that book i'm gonna click on it yes. the illusion of life disney book on amazon um oh, nice. used that's paperback hardback well new 33.98 used 41 so they're not going to be selling them used yeah. at 41 are they unless the new ones sell out but yeah it looks like there's a yeah 44,000 in books is a good rank as well okay yeah. so it looks like that should sell pretty oh what i was going to say was if you um are interested in any, any of this and you go over to our eBay and try and find it. Sometimes things take weeks to get listed in this house. No, that's, no. True. that's true. So it might not be very quick. It's better to contact us and then we'll come up with the price. Right, let's do a quiz. If you're new to our Sunday show, it has evolved to always ending with a quiz. We are keen quizzers. Uh, we used to do a regular weekly pub quiz. Um, we love quiz games and that sort of stuff. So we 
thoroughly enjoy playing quiz with you and how this works bye matt enjoy the boxing enjoy the boxing yeah how this works is we ask you questions you guys are quizzing andrea is the quiz master who keeps track of score there's a book under there you can use mm. and i'm going to ask questions so today we're going to use the um celebrity quiz game that i was kindly sent from Andrew, who is money, Mr. Money Mental in the chat there. Um, and it was no, bought, no, it was didn't. bought by Dave. Oh. Yes, it was sent from Andrew. Oh, was it? Oh. Yes, I've told you all of this. Oh, you no, just you weren't didn't. listening. You said it came from Dave Rowland and you didn't tell me that Andrew had sent it. No, you, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. The whole time he said it came from Dave Rowland. How was I to know that Dave didn't actually send it? <laughs> so um these are sealed the quizzy cards are sealed in here so how it's going to work is antoinette daly phew just in and in time for the quiz you are just in time my wife would be better at this than me says elmo yeah well you'd be better at this than me celebrity gossip and shell says are we having a domestic <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are <laughs> it'd be quite entertaining having a domestic can't get in the quiz cards Right, so how this works is I'm going to ask a question. The first correct answer that we see on our screen, and we always get this every week, what you see on your screen is different, and quite often your answer will be much higher than it actually is. It's what we see on our screen. So don't complain if, if we're reading it out wrong. We will share the, the answers at some point. Yeah. So you no, can see. no random chaos. It was actually sealed so andrew can't have studied the cards so he knowing andrew he he's opened these up <laughs> read them all and, resealed and them. sealed them back up <laughs> oh wow these are small <clears throat> make fine glass your, um, reading glasses on i could put more that that would be intelligent yeah hang on it would it's... also be intelligent not to wear your reading glasses when you go into a jumble sale and driving there oh, whatever Oh, they're multiple choice. I'm gonna have to find. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Actress Virginia McKenna dedicated her life to campaigning for animals. Which real life character did she play in the film Born Free? So we want the female character, like the real person's name. In Born Free. I hope you understood that question. It, it's, yeah, the real life female character in Born Free. Is it Thrifty Treeper? Hang on, I've got to check. I think I know which answer is right. How do I tell which out of the A, B, and C is right on here? It's, it's that, isn't it? It's not Diane Fossey because she did the uh, gorillas. <laughs> it's not telling me. know what the answers are. It's not telling me which one of these is correct. Seven oh nine. Oh, hang on. Do we have to refer to something for the answer? Is and, there a book? Andrew, how does your game work? <laughs> game rules. It's just got A, B, and C and some answers, and then it doesn't tell me which one's right. I'm pretty sure it's um, Jane is oh Jane or Joy Adamson. I don't know. What are people putting in the chat? Joy Adamson says Alexandra. That's probably right then. Yeah, somebody put Jane Goodall, so it's not that, is it? How do we know which is the correct one? Object of the game, set up, look at the cards. There are four questions on each card, two on each side. Two of the questions will give you the chance to earn bonus points. What? Read out the question together with three possible answers. Each and every player now secretly selects what they think the correct answer with that A, B, or C token. Yeah, I get all of that, but how do we know which is right? Check the answer in the back of this booklet. Right. What's the number of the question? 548. This is way more complicated than it should be. C, which was Joy Adamson. Joy Adamson. So that was Thrifty Trooper then. Which means 
Are you sure? Because look, up here, Antoinette Daly. No, no, Thrifty Trooper. Yeah, it was above. Oh, people were answering Born Free. You got the wrong end of the stick there. Thrifty Trooper, right. Yes. Go, oh, right. Okay. We got that. Woohoo. Do you want to handle yeah, that side I'll, of things? I'll do the answers. Oh, it's not usually this badly organised. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. Can you scroll down, please? Okay, so <laughs> Thrifty Trooper has a point. Dave said C. Hi, Dave. We're playing the also, game you bought. Let's put it us. on live chat. After winning the title of British Designer of the Year, John Galliano became creative director of which fashion house? Oh. That's a good question. Ooh, what I, think, is that? I can do this bit. Okay. <laughs> Andrew said B. <laughs> right, A, B, or C are not eligible answers. ASOS. Oh, God. Oh, God. So the question is again. After winning the title of British Designer of the Year, John Galliano became crea creative director of which fashion house? The correct answer is I haven't a clue. <laughs> That's not the answer. Hold on. 617. Oh, my goodness. 617. Givenchy. Who's that? Is Givenchy. Givenchy. I just see that answer come up. I thought someone. they just did um, smellies. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they did clothes. Okay, so the answer is... There's a clothing reseller. <laughs> it's not Dior, not Gucci, not Versace. Yes. Um, uh, not Joy Adamson. Gucci. Somebody's a little bit behind. Yeah. J Jace the Who, you're a, bit, click, you're a bit behind. Click the little red button thing <laughs> below, and then you're watching live, and you should be catching up, because, yeah, Joy Adamson's like 10 minutes ago. Armani, ASOS, Argos, Vogue, Chanel. Vicky, Vicky Bluebird. Vicky Bluebird. I think it's the only person who knew that. Well done. Did anyone else get that? No. Wow. Well done. I can't see any other correct answers. Is it John Galliano that um, committed suicide? Ooh. Oh, Murray Deathly Deals th thought it was your fashion house. Wow. One day. <laughs> oh, Ken got it down there. A bunch of people have got it now, but then we've just said it. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> After being nominated five times, who finally won an Oscar for Best Actress thanks to her performance in Dead Man Walking? I think I know this one. I'm not usually very good with film. No, I was wrong. <laughs> and I've got multiple choice. Oh, it was Alexander McQueen. Thank you. So we won. After being nominated five times, who finally won an Oscar for Best Actress thanks to her performance in Dead Man Walking? Oh, yeah. Getting yeah. a swathe of um, what I think is the right <laughs> answer. Yeah. I'm getting chilly now. It's hard to go back on. <laughs> the correct answer is Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon. Sarandon. Uh, who was first with the correct answer? Uh, Kate Winslet, no. Meryl Streep, no. Julie Roberts, no. We can't give you it for Susan, Dermot, can we? No, That's not. We can't. That could be any old Susan. Um, Glenn Close, no. Claire Cairns is the first on our screen with yeah. Susan Sarandon. Okie dokie. So you get a tap point. Oh, should we do a football question? No. <laughs> no, I've said it now. People will be going, yay! Soccer hero, Bobby Moore. Let me just get to the end of the chat. I'll share the chat with you so you can see yourself saying hi, mum, and all of that business again. Yeah. Um, I need to write down Claire Cairns. Oh, I nearly pressed the end, end <laughs> oh, stream be button. Oh, that would good, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, We'll do a quick football question. Somebody out there must know something about football. It's certainly not me. <laughs> People are already answering. <laughs> right. Soccer hero Bobby Moore, England's World Cup winning captain in 1966, played for which two 
London clubs. Oh, London. So we want the name of two London clubs. That soccer hero, yeah, Bobby I don't think Moore. Manchester, Liverpool, or Middlesbrough are in London. They're, they're not they waiting are? for the question to be said, are they? Okay. Two London clubs, Jackie. I'm going to find the correct answer while you're guessing. You might as well just guess two London clubs. You never know. You might get it. One, two, eight, two. Yeah, how's that? One, two, eight, two. Okay. I'm thick and fast. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. I'm going to give you the correct answer and then we'll try and trawl through all of this. It's West Ham and Fulham. Oh, Pete's, Pete's in. Oh, so but will you take, you take less? less? Chelsea, Alan. Chelsea. Anybody before? Yeah. Oh, oh, you nearly had it. So, Tawny Steve. What am I doing? West Ham and Fulham. Yeah. Oh, Fulham and West Fulham Ham. Fulham and West Ham. Right, Matt's got Aid it. Aid just got it. Aid. Oh, Jack. It's Aid then because that was the first one I saw come in, I think, when I started reading. Yeah. Okay, Aid. Well, we've got West Ham, West Ham, West Ham. People guessing before the full question. Right. It is Aid Waldron there. Oh. Wait till you hear the whole question, folks. Famous as Andrew will get this before I've even finished the question. Famous Is as it Oasis. No. Andrea, I said, not Andrew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Famous as part of uh one pop duo. Who did singer Shirley? Holliman pair up and get married to. So she was famous as part of a pop duo. I know this one. But who did singer Shirley Holliman pair up and get married to? So we want who she got married to. Does that make sense? These questions are really complicated. Aren't they? Who did Shirley Hoff Holliman, famous as part of an 80s pop duo, marry is basically the question. Oh, I can see ooh. the answer. Yes, it is Martin Kemp. I don't even need to check the... Because uh, she was part of Pepsi and Shirley mm -hmm. and she married Martin Kemp from Spandau Ballet. So, um, see, jumping the gun there. That was, that doesn't answer the question. Oh, Gary Kemp. No. Wrong brother. Richard Fry. Yeah. First correct answer. Um, God, that's a weird question. There's some weird old questions in there, I'll tell you. I'm keeping people waiting. Sorry, I'm trying to find a question. question. <laughs> James collects as Ross Kemp. <laughs> <laughs> Don't guess. Wait a minute. I'm just trying to find one. Oh, my place is smart ass next time, Nick. Yeah, that was fun, actually. That yeah. Was good. Yes, Karin, Pepsi and Shirley have been on top of the pops lately because it's, um, it's been 1987, isn't it? 87. Oh, I love that year for music. Okay. Which wild card Wimbledon champion swapped his tennis whites for army fatigues to complete his military service? Oh, Interesting. Which oh, wild? Oh, I'm so jealous. She saw Pepsi and Shirley live. Nice. Oh, I was so so into Pepsi and Shirley. We get a kaching then. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I've sold some hair clippers. Um, right. So the question was: Which wild card Wimbledon champion swapped his tennis whites for army fatigues to complete his military service? Um, I'm still trying to find the answer in this annoying little book. One 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 oh, I can't find it. One 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 oh, okay. So the correct answer. Let me just check if I've actually seen one. So somebody's actually got it before I give it away. Yep, the correct answer is up there. It's Goran Ivanisevic. And let me double check that that's right. One 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 oh a, yeah. 
So I can see a correct one there. So we've got to see if anyone was before Swifty Trooper. No. Awesome. That gives Thrift. you two points. Goran Ivanizovic. Well done. Great answer. Puts you in the lead. So should we do a few more from here and then we'll switch to Smart Ass? No, we'll just carry on with this. Just carry on with this? All right. I'm hungry. I haven't had any dinner yet. <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, this is an easy one, I think. After pacing through D-Day beaches in Saving Private Ryan, who left his handprints outside Man's Chinese Theatre? That's in uh, Hollywood Sunset Boulevard or whatever it is. We went there, it's didn't in, we? Um, Hollywood Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Right, lots of Tom Hanks. I'm, I'm thinking it's Tom Hanks, but I haven't actually checked the right answer here. Hold on. Number 58. Well, someone said Matt Damon, so, it, you know. Oh, that's Damon, another then, option. It's yeah. another option. I don't it know. Do you know be. I haven't even seen Saving Private Ryan? Neither have I. 58. The answer is Tom Hanks. Cool. So, first Tom Hanks on our screen. Thrifty Trooper? What? Oh, sorry, I was reading Random Chaos. He might have gone already, but he said he's off to get some rest. So, yeah, good luck for next week if, you, if you're still watching. Um, so, Thrifty Trooper, that puts you in, in a huge lead with three points. Right, so who have we got scored? Let's come out of screen share for a bit. Um, and you can give a, a points summary while I find another question. Yeah, so we've got Thrifty Trooper in the lead with three points. And then on one point each, we've got Vicky Bluebird, Claire Cairns, Aid Waldron, and Richard Fry. So what should we do? A three question? Um, yeah. I need to cut that. my hair. Look at that. It's getting out of control. Uh, we'll have to. You'll have to see your wonderful hairdresser this week. Shave my hair off. Okay. Three question warning. So you've got three questions left, which means anyone... Does, can... it, does it make you, like, wild and interesting? I don't know. It's just gone mental up here. Look. <laughs> Anyone can tie with Thrifty Trooper. Vicky, Claire, Aid, and Richard can still win. Kind of Thrifty okay. Troopers to lose. Yeah. Right, here we go. Three questions left. In preparation for which film? So we want the title of a film. Um, in preparation for which film did actress Linda Hamilton undergo a grueling 13-week commando Ooh, course? I know that one. And I want the correct... You, you, yeah. We're going to have to be... Okay, Andrea would be wrong. Oh, is it because it's... I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although on Andrea's quiz, yeah, you'd have to put that in as well. Um, let me double check. I'm pretty sure it's going to be C. Five, is seven, it going one. to be that one then? Yeah. Oh. That's the answer I've got. Uh, right, hold on, hold on. Wasn't she in the first one? Yeah, she was. So. Oh, we're, we're it's... Giving it yes, away. I know, yeah. Giving it away. Yeah. Um, I, know, I know why now. Five, seven, one. Hold I remember. On. Yes, it is what I thought it was. So the answer is, I assume everyone's getting it. Yes, they are. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Uh, we will accept Terminator 2. I was going to say I'm not going to accept Terminator because that's a different film. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now why. It's been a while since I've seen those films. Long-haired hippie. <laughs> From Liverpool. <laughs> I don't know. It's Pleasant Valley Picker. Um, Terminator 2... Some people are putting Judgment Day, which is the like little extra bit of the title, yeah. but we're accepting. We accept Terminator I'm 2. I'm scrolling Mama back. Mia. Wow. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of correct answers. So we, we can't give it for Terminator, James Moore. Otherwise, you would have been first. Thrifty Trooper can't accept it. Do you think that Pete was, a, do you think that was a typo? Well, Pete's put Terminator <laughs> 2. It's an obvious typo, so yeah. yeah that's we'll fine. go with Pete Harrison then. Because we're we're nice like that. Some other quizzes, you, you'd never get it for Termin Terminator 2. <laughs> Not a chance. Okay. Another, I think this is relatively easy if you've heard it. Who is sometimes referred to as the Peter Pan of pop? Oh, is it? 
Oh, well, that's not. I thought it was that. I don't oh. know which out of these three it is. Oh, I see. Oh. I think it's A, and Nick thinks it's C. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's. You don't know what <laughs> what we're what we're saying. <laughs> Right, people are coming out with Cliff Richard, Michael Jackson. Okay, they were our, I would have said it was Michael Jackson. Well, I thought it was Cliff Richard. Because his ranch is Neverland. Yeah, but I think that's just, I think the Peter Pan of pop is Cliff Richard. Right, we'll find out. Hold on. Question number 1113. Oh, building up the tension, eh? Don't get this on there. He wants to be a millionaire, do you? Look in the little book. 1113. You also don't win a million on this. <laughs> Jason said, is my chat not showing? Well, I can see that. So I'm guessing it is. It is Cliff Richard. So Andrea was correct, <laughs> as were lots and lots of you lot. Cliff Richard. Yeah, I'm sure you just called me Andrew again. Andrea. <laughs> Am I forgetting your name? <laughs> oh, I'm getting old. Um, Pete Harrison says, me and my fingers. Yeah, it's all right. Typing fast. So the first correct answer, it's only Thrifty Trooper. Is that? Well, that's the first correct one there, look. No, yes. No. Oh, no. No, that's Michael Jackson. Sorry, I was reading Aid's answer. I was going to say, it's Aid. It's Aid. It gives Aid two points. Aid was having kittens somewhere then. No, it was me. Yeah, sorry. Thrifty Trooper put Michael Jackson, which it's I It's because thought. you're still convinced that you had the I'm right convinced answer. convinced I was right. I'm always right, damn it. You're not always right. <laughs> right. So that means aid can draw level with this question. Yeah. Otherwise, Thrifty Troopers won it. Mm -hmm. Right. This is a very, I don't know if Thrifty Troopers in America, the name might lead you to that because of the thrifty bit. This is quite a British question. Should I pick one that isn't so very British? Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah. Everyone else is going, no! <laughs> That's very British as well. Oh, blimey. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find one that actually works with it. <clears throat> right. Difficult question. I think we should end on oh, a no, difficult one. in the UK. Oh, Okay. Sorry, we'll go with what I was going to do then. We'll go right back to if I can find it. A lot of people are going to get this. You've got to be quick. What kind of headgear did comedian Tommy Cooper wear? <laughs> what kind of headgear did the comedian Tommy Cooper wear? What a genius that man was. Here come the correct answers. Way it just went berserk. <laughs> I think we're going to need correct spelling for this, which most people have anyway. Um, I haven't even checked the answer because we all know it's a fez. Shall I check just just to be sure? That's what everyone else is putting as well. So yeah, that's what I put. Um, two, two, three. It was a red fez, wasn't it? Hmm. Yes, it was. So just about everybody got Fez. And the correct spelling is just F-E-Z. The first correct Ken answer Millen. was Ken. Ken McMillan on our screen. Followed by Alexandra and L33 Misses and Lisa. Oh, no, Lisa said hat. Can't give you it for hat. Uh, Matt was right, James Moore was right, but wrong spelling, but that's fine. LJ was right. Loads and loads of people. So well done if you got that. So what does that mean, score master? Well, that means that Thrifty Troopo, you are the winner of this week's contest. <laughs> Is it a contest? Yeah, it's a quiz. Of course it's a um, So you have a whole three tap points plus your five for winning. So you've got eight tap points to spend. Yep. Um, Coming at you over the wonders of the internet. In second place, we have Aid Waldron on two tap points. And then um, on one tap point each, we have Vicky Bluebird, Claire Cairns, Richard Fry, Pete Harrison, and Ken McMillan. So there you go. Enjoy so well your tap points. Spend them wisely. 
and we'll be back doing this next week I believe oh will we we're away are, oh, we, yeah. are we away on Sunday? We might be back we're, on Sunday. No, we won't be. We're back on Monday. No Sunday show next week, guys. We might do a show on, on the Monday. Yeah, we'll probably do one on the Monday just so we can catch up and see what's been going on. So it's bank holiday, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but we're out and about, so we're not here on the Sunday. Uh, we will be around on Thursday. We're... Yes, we have. Oh, can we say? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I can't I remember who. Think, who yeah, what's the on? name of their channel? I was, um, oh oh yes, um, uh, Cookie and the Haydens. That's it. I, I was getting confused between. Is it Martin from Habu? No, it's not. It's Chris no, it's and Chris. Annabelle. But I was trying so hard to think of the name of their channel, <laughs> and all I kept thinking was Cooper and the Haydens, and I thought that's not right. It's Cookie and the Haydens. Yeah. Yes. On Thursday, Sorry. we have a show um, you may know that goes out live at six. Uh, we have guests lined up for that that we met at eBay HQ. Uh, they have a YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to talk to them about their channel and about their business. Um, so, yeah, looking forward yeah. to that. It's Chris and Annabelle. Yeah. So we'll see you on Thursday for that. And if you don't follow them on YouTube, check out Co Cookie and the Haydens. <laughs> said yeah. it wrong again well what do you call it cooper and the haydens cooper and the haydens so everybody cookie and, and the haydens um yeah check them out because yeah very entertaining yeah okay we are done thank you so much for joining us it's always a pleasure remember to go over to that other video the link for it is below the thirty thousand subscriber special video drop us a little message uh leave your name and where you are um and you know say hello let us know what you like about the channel or just give us a message and you will then be eligible to win either the brand new digital radio the dab radio or the ebay goodies yeah. and we'll let you know well we'll let you know on monday for that yes <sighs> right should we go and have dinner let's go and eat <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys All take right, care have a great week everyone bye bye